Well, well good morning everybody welcome to Vienna sunny Vienna uh, here for a couple of days I have a few weird videos um, and a very weird one to start off with let me turn you around now in Vienna there's ten pretty women there's a shoulder where death comes to cry I I I I beautiful city of romance and song and classics and uh, oh the Nazis were here <laughs> it is <laughs> what an eyesore in the middle of a beautiful park here in Vienna <laughs> lucky for you I do know a little bit about it so I'm not an expert but I'll uh, try and tell you a bit about it I'll try and get a better view for you there's an information board here, I'll just take a picture of it. So it's quite a hard thing to get a good view of because it's so big. <laughs> Bizarrely enough, when you're in the park. Um, so six of these were built in Vienna, all are still standing, they are flak towers. There were six in Berlin as well, and <coughs> two, I want to say, in Hamburg. Uh, they are anti-aircraft defence, and the little ring things you see, uh, on the outside they would have had guns on them and they all would have had uh, four du double barreled AA 12.8 um, centimetre guns on them I think they would have been on top I think smaller ones were on the the uh, cylinder circular things so all these flat towers were built in twos so I think the other one is just over there and the one that would be over there which I will get and show you that would have been a control tower and this would have been like a combat tower I want to say I think I read that um, they were here to guard against low level attack um, it said that when the guns did fire I can't actually find any record of these being used. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't actually check. But I did read that if they were to fire these buildings, which are thick, and, as you can see, concrete, every <laughs> the building would have just shaken. And that's why the control towers needed to be there, because all the equipment in here, all the radars, would malfunction. So they were always built in twos. They were built by forced labourers between 19, it said on that information board, didn't it? Um, so you know that information. And these flak towers were the last to be built. So these are the Type 3 flak towers. There's still, there's ones in Berlin you can go and see. Maybe I'll, uh, if I get back to Berlin, which I'm sure I will do, as it's my favourite European city, I'll, uh, I'll show you those. You can see the damage at the top. Um, in 1940, I'm going to say six, the late 1940s, just after the war, kids were playing here. And uh, there was 2,000 grenades or something and the kids started a fire and they set off all the grenades well the grenades got set off and it just obviously caused damage i read that and like how is it still standing it must be i know it's insanely huge and made of concrete but two thousand grenades that's indestructible um, it was also used for an air raid shelter or an above ground shelter for, and it could hold over 10,000 people. Because of the fire that started in the 40s, most of the, well all the floors at the top are now 
non-existent and this particular tower isn't used for anything and it's um, home to thousands of pigeons. Oh well, yeah, there's six of these. <laughs> there's six of these in Vienna. I did plan on, hang on, let me turn you around. There it is. I did plan on when I was um, first coming to Vienna to show you them all, but uh, I'm very tired. Um, I'm going to show you the other, the control tower. Now, what do you do with these things? The hearts knock down and they are markers of war. Um, so many of them have different uh, purposes now. One of them in Vienna holds an art collection. Like you can't access it, it's just there to store art. Um, one of them's an aquarium. The aquarium here in v Vienna is a, the old flag tower. That old trick. The uh, anti-aircraft defense turned into an aquarium. That old chestnut. And um, this one, the next one, the, the control tower, which I think is down here, this is going to be turned into a cinema, they hope. Um, maybe. Uh, that's according to Wikipedia, that bit, so who knows? But I'll show you that other one, and sorry I haven't shown you the other four. If you've seen one, you've seen them all, I think. I'll put pictures from the internet on. Anyway, so the other one is down here. I just think it's so beautiful that this beautiful lining of trees, very tranquil on a Friday morning. I'm gonna say, and uh, it leads to a uh, <laughs> absolute eyesore. <laughs> Markers of war. Eh? It was never meant to be cute. Well, that's the end of me in Orgarten in Vienna. Uh, please like and subscribe. I think I've got a couple more war related things in Vienna and a couple of greys uh, trying to take it a bit easier in Vienna but I hope you've enjoyed peace